Welcome back to the second episode of the NASCAR Camping World. Well, get our dear RV Truck Series Championship mode. We'll be heading to Las Vegas. If you guys did not check out the last episode, well, we're seventh in the standings right now. Where did we finish? We ended up finishing second. We ended up finishing in a photo finish with Zane Smith, who got his first official win of the season. But the guy that won two stages in this career in Daytona well, it's Austin Hill, but now we're heading to the Strat 200 at Las Vegas, trying to pick up back where we left off. So let's get into this race, and I'll see you guys when the race begins. We are in Las Vegas Motor Speedway at Las Vegas. The three stories of the race, Ben Rose isn't that nearly fast as he expected. Clay Greenfield missed driver introductions, and Matt Crafton changed his engine after qualifying. We're going green. Now, if you guys want to check out my Instagram or my Twitter or my Facebook, all those links will be down in the description down below, so make sure to check it out. As we begin here in Las Vegas, starting 29th, after this race, I'm probably going to do a lot more qualifying because it'll be a lot much easier to go through the field, but first, I wanted to I wanted to just have some fun and race through the field and see how quick I can get through the field. As you guys already see, the car is a bit different. I really love this paint scheme, and, I, and I'm not even gonna lie to you guys, I just did this paint scheme. Like, I just did this before I, start, before I started this video. But I really like it. Of course, we have Gatorade because we don't officially have a spot, like a, like, a, like a priority sponsor, even though I put Gatorade on the car. That's only because I drink a lot of Gatorade, so. Is it? If, what, when, when I start doing interviews, guys, after the race, talking about the race, you guys probably see me drinking a lot of Gatorade, and I'm not even sponsored by Gatorade. So that, that's going to be kind of funny to see. As we're racing up here on the end of stage number stage number one, we're up here battling in 23rd, going to 22nd. And yeah, looks like, we're gonna, looks like this car is really decent. Probably not even a top 10 car, but we'll have to see. Where are we going to finish heading into the next stage? Probably going to be 19th. Ashley, I want it to be 19th because I want to start on the bottom and it's going to be 19th. So anyway guys, I'll see you guys when we head into stage number two. Here we are in stage number two. As you guys already know, I qualified 19th place. And I just want to say this. The truck feels really, really good. The truck like... I haven't even drove... I haven't even been on the bottom. So I don't really know why I said in the first stage that I wanted to be on the bottom. Because that top side was working really, really good for me. And as we just completely gained two spots right there, I feel like we have a very good shot at getting a, at least a decent top five finish here. And back to the paint scheme real quick, guys. Yeah, I love this paint scheme. I'm not even going to lie to you. I love this paint scheme. This paint scheme is so beautiful. This paint scheme is probably going to become my Facebook background, to be honest, because I absolutely love this paint scheme. But enough saying, we'll get... I'll see you guys when we get to the end of stage number two, and we'll see how we're doing when it comes to that. Also, guys, it, it, I just want to explain to you guys because you guys definitely did like when we start uploading gaming videos on my sports channel. But if you guys want me to start a second channel where it's just gaming videos like NASCAR Heat and FIFA 21 and possibly Madden 21 because I got that too, then let me know in the comments down below. Um, most of these videos will be going down under gaming even though in the first video I didn't realize it went down under sports and that's why I have no views right now. Uh, but hopefully now that it's on gaming it will do well. Hopefully now like I can actually make this a thing and I can do like a whole season and make it a YouTube series and possibly start a second channel. Tell me if you guys would see that. I'll probably be asking a lot of my friends about this too to see what they say and they say I should start a second channel then I probably will and I'll probably just call it David Games as I didn't even realize I was the end of stage number two because I was still talking but we finished eighth in stage number two I had the two KBM trucks and I'll see you guys when we get into stage number three here we are in stage number three starting alongside Johnny Sauter and I just want to say what I said before this car remember when I said this car I said earlier this car has had the potential of becoming a top five car we have a chance to win this race. If I win this race, I'm putting the difficulty up. Man. I'm putting the difficulty up. Because this this seems like it's too easy to go around people. And it shouldn't be this easy. But we'll see how it is. But right now, we are running 8th place. We got Ty Gillen in his new paint scheme. 
We're gonna give Tally Gill a new bump and push him past Johnny Sauter. By the way, um, I want to go off on the tangent real quick. The Thor Sport trucks. When it comes to Thor Sport drivers in real life, the only one I like is probably I'd probably Careful, say Max. I I respect Johnny Sauter, but I don't really like Johnny Sauter. The probably the only one I'd probably say I like because I don't really know that much about Grand Am figure either. It's Matt Crafton. I love Matt Crafton. I respect Matt Crafton because Still he's there. been in truck series for so long. He's one of the veterans. Of course, he's a I think a two-time champion. Hopefully, I'm right. Tell me in the comments down below if I'm right. But yeah, I just really, really respect Matt, Matt Crafton, Ben Rhodes. I mean, there was a point. There was a point in the season I actually did. I actually did like Ben Rhodes up until what he did at Texas. Just. He could have probably that could have ended so differently. That could have ended a whole different way because of Ben Rose. But thankfully, Christian Nekis got out of the car and Christian Nekis was okay. But yeah, Ben. The only one I like out of Thor Sport is um, Matt Crafton. If I knew more about Granite Finger, I'd probably like him too because he seems like a respectable guy. I say that as he's winning this race. And currently, right now, we are fourth place. We are fifth place. Sorry, behind the winner of the Daytona race, Zane Smith. So I'll see you guys in a couple laps and we'll see how it is when it comes to that. Alright, here we are in entering lap, well on lap 17 now. We've gone past Zane Smith for 4th pla place, now we just got past Drew Friesen for 3rd place. Two cars ahead of us, the two-time stage winner in Daytona, Austin Hill, and probably two-time stage winner in Las Vegas, Grand Name Figure, who's probably going to be strong throughout the championship mode and probably he's going to be our main championship rival but Austin Hill is going to be up there, Stuart Friesen is going to be up there. What's his name that's back there? Johnny Sauter is probably going to be up there but Johnny Sauter is not doing well Johnny Sauter is doing okay but he's not really like top five. But we anyway we have four laps left to go here in Las Vegas. We are hugging this bottom because when it, there are certain tracks I just don't like running the top side because the top side doesn't help you at all unless it's like Kansas or a track like Kansas, which I can't really name, probably Chicagoland, probably Chicago, yeah, probably Chicago, man. But as we're getting up to Austin Hill right here, we're probably going to get past Austin Hill towards his first corner because our car seems to be fast in the long run, which is a very good thing, which means it's going to be a battle between me and Grand Amfinger to see who gets the win here. And after this, I'll probably be most likely upping the difficulty because... I want it to be a lot more challenging than this, but I mean, I guess it is challenging. Las Vegas is actually not one of my good tracks. Las Vegas is actually one of my, I'm, well, I can't say bad tracks. Like, when, when we get to, like, Pocono, T Kentucky, that's going to be a whole different story because I don't like Pocono and I don't like Kentucky. What's another track I don't like that's on a truck schedule? That's probably it. And Iowa. Ooh, I'm going to hate Iowa, too. I don't like racing at that track, like, I'll be honest, I've done, <laughs> alright, I'll be honest guys, I've done many, like, sims of career mode, and I never race at Iowa because I just don't like it, and I've, I've raced at Kentucky a few times, but I don't really like racing at Kentucky either, as we're heading to the final lap here, battling Granite Figure, here we go guys, coming to the white flag here in Las Vegas, Granite Figure in first, we're in second, and you know what, to make it a little bit more exciting, we're going to run the top side. See if we can get by Grand Finger on the top side. If we can, then we win this race. If we can't, then Grand and Finger is going to win this race. And Grand and Finger is going to clear us, but we're going to get the run off the corner. And can we win this race running off the top side? Just, I don't know. Uh, we're technically running in the middle, but it's still fine. Grand and Finger is going to come back. Can we win this race? Can we win this race? Can we win this race? Photo finish again, and we finish second here in Las Vegas. Back to back second place finishes, and back to back photo finishes. Whew. Man, that was a good race. That was a good race, guys. Like, like I'm not even gonna lie. I chased down Grand and Finger, and I was just a little bit short. I had um, I don't I don't know what happened. The car coming into three, coming out of four. We yeah, so normally when you're on the outside, you usually have the speed and you're usually able to gain the advantage coming out of the corner, but I guess Randy figuring out a good run coming out of off the bottom. <sighs> but that was a that was a very good second place finish. 94 speed rating. The rest of the results are as follows. Granny and Figure won a stage. Sheldon Creed also won a stage. Austin Hill finishing in third. Stuart Friesen finishing in fourth. 
Sheldon Creed finishing in 5th, Zane Smith the winner from Daytona finishing in 6th, Johnny Sawyer finishing in 7th, Todd Gillen finishing in 8th, Bradley Hurst finishing in 9th, Brett Moffitt finishing in 10th, Matt Crafton finishing in 11th, Ross Chastain finishing in 12th, Christian Eckes finishing in 13th, and the last place finisher was... <laughs> oh my gosh, Ben Rhodes! Ben Rhodes finished last, and he, fin he didn't finish last by that much, but he still finished last, at least he didn't DNF from the race. There's the point standings. I'm actually really surprised that we are not better than third, considering we finished second in both races, but we haven't we didn't get any stage points until the second stage. So I completely understand that. Austin Hill with his two state with his two stage wins. This lead in standing. Zane Smith in second, Grand Infinger in third, us in fourth, Ty Gill in fifth. And if the standings were done right now. Bradley Hurst would be missing the the playoffs by two points over Joe Nemechek. Whew. Fastest lap was Grand Am Finger. Most laps left was Grand Am Finger. <laughs> I mean, to be honest, the Grand Am Finger just dominated Las Vegas. On the move was us 30 to second. That's probably going to change once I start qualifying. So that would definitely be different. Tough break for Jesse Little. Started 11, finished 27th. All right, so now we move on to Charlotte. Charlotte, the third race of the season. Take a look at the standings again. Take a look at the actual championship standings. And Joe Nemechek would be the last point person in on points. But anyway, guys, I want to thank you guys for watching this video. I'll see you guys in the third race of the championship season. And see you guys next time. Peace.